This tutorial is about adding a custom user interface to the project. Let's add three additional levels from the demo project to the scene so we have more assets to work with. Go to the Levels Explorer and add them from the Levels folder in the Arch Viz UI 3. We need the UI 3 Furniture level and the two kitchen variations named UI 3 Scenario K1 and K2. The two kitchen levels are variations for different layouts. We will stream them with the Scenario feature. You can hide one of them for now. Click on the icons next to the level names in the Level Browser window to only show the K1 level. The floor plan appears to be scaled the wrong way. This seems to happen more often with every new engine version released. It will rescale itself after you make any change to the info map details. Like changing the unit ID from 0 to 1 and then back to 0. The furniture level will always be visible, so we need to add it to the list of streaming levels. Browse to the streaming levels array. Add another array element and type the name in there. I'm adding some folders to the list and move levels into the new folders to have the level browser more organized. Back in the streaming levels array we can move the levels in the order we want them to stream. The sky level should stream last, and the furniture level after the building level has been streamed. I made a list of features that the UI should have. For now this list is not organized and just shows all features that came into my mind. The next step is to sort the list into categories. Each category will be a main menu button with the features opening when the name is clicked. I've added a couple of extra features that I forgot before. The maximal amount of features that one main menu button can have is 3 or 4, depending on what types of features will be used. Select the info map and browse to the UI panel's design section. The main menu layout array is where the UI design is created. The first category or main menu button contains three features that are related to navigating the scene. The exit button should already be there from the last tutorial. Otherwise click the bin icon to delete the array and then use the plus icon to add a new element if your element doesn't look like what you see on screen. Add the exit icon from the UI3 text folder if it isn't already there and enter navigation as the menu name. Click the plus icon next to the feature panel array until there are three array elements. Each array element represents one feature panel from the categorized UI design we made. The first is a list of other units in the same building. Each unit will be a separate scene. We'll need the world travel feature for this which is a feature with preview. Select Feature with Preview from the list. The other two features are the Walk or Drone Mode feature and the Exit Menu feature. Features can be dragged with the mouse to a new position. The Exit Menu should be on the bottom of the panels. A look at the list shows that we will need four more main menu buttons. Add them by clicking the plus icon on top of the main menu layout array four times. Name the first new button, Variations, and add the Edit icon from the text folder. Then add three array elements to the Feature Panels array. Select Dynamic Sky from the list as the first feature. The second and third feature will both be features with preview. The feature ID is needed to define which of the features will be used. Give the first one the ID number 1 and the second one the ID number 2. 
ID number 0 has already been used in the navigation menu. Let's save and click play to check the menu. Everything we entered looks fine so far, but the features with preview are not showing up. Features with preview need to be set up in a separate section of the info map. Browse down to the Features with Preview Images Array. This is where the features are defined. Delete any old data by clicking on the bin icon. Then add three array elements, one for each of the feature panels we added to the menu. Expand the first array element of the Features with Preview Images Array. It has the ID number 0. Select Scene Travel as the feature type. Name it, go to another unit. Let's imagine we have three units. The current unit is unit A. The other two units are B and C. We will need two image buttons to travel to unit B or unit C. Add two array elements to the options array. I made two simple images to add as preview thumbs and import them into a new UI folder within the project folder. Change the context and compression settings for a texture that will be used in the menu to UI. Add the preview images and the name for unit B and unit C to the two option array elements. The world or scene travel feature will load a separate persistent level when clicking on the preview image. Enter the exact name of the persistent levels of the other scene as the option. I call them persistent unit B and persistent unit C. The levels don't exist yet. They can be created later. The image buttons are now visible in the interface. For feature ID number 1 choose design scheme as the type and name it, Design Scheme. Add two options. I'll use some existing preview images from the demo project. Name the two options, Modern Light, and Vivid Oak, or any other name. Then use the array ID as option. Design schemes require variation actor blueprints in the scene. The furniture level already has them set up. There will be a more in-depth video for how to set up variations. The design scheme will change all variation actors at once. Many developers offer design schemes the potential buyer can choose from. Feature with preview ID number 2 will be a scenario. The scenario feature is like a trigger that makes one of a group of levels visible and hides the other ones. Back at the info maps details select scenario as the feature type and name it kitchen layout. Add two options to the array. Use the preview images from the text folder and add kitchen, island layout, and L shape as their names. The exact level names have to be entered as the option. Similar to the scene travel feature before. Hit play again. The variations menu lets you change the kitchen layout and apply the design schemes. The dynamic sun works too.
The next main menu item on the list is the floor plan feature. Name it floor plan and add the icon. Select floor plan as the only feature panel. We already added the floor plan drawings to the info map. The next main menu button will be the settings. Settings features are available for movement, player camera, and game settings. Let's add all three of them. The last main menu button is called, Help and Info. It has three feature panels. The first is the Project Info. This will show the project name and address. The next one is the Office Info feature. The, Help, feature can display an image with controls. Use the media feature instead, if you want to display more than one image, more text, or videos. Hit save and play to test the scene. We noticed that the screenshot feature would be a good addition. Add another main menu button to the array. Use the camera icon and name it Screenshot. Notice that there is a Screenshot button in the list of feature types. The buttons here are simple buttons and don't create a panel in the menu. We want to use the standard panel and add the full Screenshot feature instead. Finally let's move the new main menu button in front of the settings button. Save and play again. This is the end of this tutorial. Another video will explain some of the features in more detail.